Yes, it but suitable for a travelling countryman such as yours truly to be presented with the apparatus required to excrete like a royalty. Alright, we are on the road, so this trip is to try and figure out if we can get a source for one of those gas burners. So I'm heading uh, further east to Vanta, uh, about 30 kilometers. In 100 meters, turn right. Uh, the GPS wants me to go through some like a little tiny residential neighborhood and I've got no idea how to get there otherwise, so I guess that's what we're going to do. Destination Castle Valois, and I got it. Finally, 75 freaking euros, but we got one. We finally found one. They had exactly one left in stock, save for the one on the counter. Ah. So thank you, whoever figured out which keywords to plug into Google in order to get this. Uh, it's stupid expensive, but hey, what's you gonna do? And it's even got the right kind of bottle there, so let's just try and hook this up and see. No, I don't have any matches, no do I. Well, let's get in there. And there we go. So this seems to be just... Uh, this seems to just be an adapter for big bottle to small bottle. And uh, that's the actual burner, which you can screw onto a small bottle if you want to. So that's useful, I suppose. Come on, we'll get out of that. Yeah, not gonna need that handle. Go away. Ah, finally, this is the thing, this is the magic. This is what I'm paying for. I must say, it's a very, very heavy, hefty thing. I made 2016 even. In Italy. Alright, that should be on there. Let's uh, see. I have no idea which direction this goes. Mm, probably that way. So let's uh, see if we can get some sizzling. No major leakage. Oh yes. Uh, and main switch off. <sighs> Finally, I can cook myself some food. Might as well. Ooh. We don't get these where I come from. Whee! Oh dicks, I was hoping to be able to use something like this for the van. But when we look at the power supplies you get with these, they're all 24 volts, so that's a no-go. Well that was duly pointless. I came looking for lights and bed sheets, and I found two thirds of a bed sheet and no lights, so I didn't buy anything. Right, time to plot a new course. Uh-oh. I think the salt inhibitor's gone mad again. Perhaps it's because it's wet outside. Oh, that's really weird. It started despite the LED being turned on. And now it's going on and off randomly. Uh, that's a bit worrisome. <laughs> I have to say. But we're rolling now and it's uh, hopefully not going to turn the engine off. Oh, you have to be joking. Plastic thread. Oh, the video camera's gone. Cried threading it onto the dashboard tripod. And now it's just... Uh, it's not going to go there. Not going to go there. Ugh, oh, piece of crap. Well, that's just great. Just great. Tompere, here we come. Ah, oh, it is so nice to 
finally be getting out of that dreary city. This is the part of the thing that I actually like, even though I'm not an outdoors person. Because now I've just been kind of driving through a forest for hours and hours, and the road's going to get ever smaller. And there's just going to not be any people around ever. After that, turn left. Need some human and vehicle turn feed. Left. After that, and the GPS left. really doesn't like that. She wants me to starve to death and run out of gas. Well, diesel. I have no idea what I just ordered. Well, if this is what the souls of raped children taste like, I'm fine. Beep beep. Oh, oh yeah. Alright, got myself a Playboy lighter because that's all they had. So let's see if we can explode ourselves. Jesus, that's sensitive. Hey, we've got fire! Perfect. Alright, so since my video camera won't eat tripod anymore, I figured I'd stop uh, and uh, set up something else. So, this is my old DSLR, and this is something I built just prior to leaving. Uh, I'd already carried the electrical tape out into the vehicle. Uh, and this is a solar system power supply for that DSLR. So, I had this like dodgy 230 volt adapter for it, and I figured it needs like 8 volts to run, so I just took a 7085 and a bunch of diodes and uh, bodged something together, and it worked. Now you can do flashes even if you want to. So I'm just going to set this up, uh, hook it up to the server under there, and uh, uh, fire up astrophotography tool and let it run a time lapse. Alright, I got that strip photography tool up and running in uh, AV mode, so we've got auto exposure and everything we need. Uh, the camera is strapped down, solar powered. Not super sturdy, but uh, it's going to be good enough. So, let's go. Oh man, it looks so eerie to just have a camera peeking out behind me, behind the mirror finished glass. Alright, and here is camera mount 2.0. So it's just a heap of pillows, a bungee cord, a roll of t paper towels and uh, a mini tripod. Uh, obviously the uh, big tripod just can't be fit f far enough to the right of the vehicle to give any kind of good uh, view. So I have to push the camera f further front and centre. And that's what I'm done here. Sadly there isn't really any way to mount the camera in the actual passenger compartment I'd have to like manage to somehow crumble a tripod in there but that's a bunch of crap so that's basically out of a question but we're really pushing almost right up against the glass now so I think that's going to be pretty okay certainly we're getting a bit of a better view now Quick stop out in nowhere, Finland, and a fan bought me a burger and a Pepsi. He didn't want to be featured in a video, but I'll be damned if I can't feature his Pepsi. So thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Although I already told you that. And from here it's onward towards Pietarsari, so let's see if she starts. Oh yes, like a clock. <laughs> <laughs> 